Languages can be broadly grouped into two categories. High level languages such as Python, C Sharp, C++, Java and SQL and low level languages such as assembly code and machine code. High level languages have lots of readable English keywords and program statements and look a lot like normal English. Here is some code written in the high level language you've been using, Python. You don't need to understand what this code is doing, but we can see that there is an input, a print and a while statement, all of which you should be familiar with. This is pretty intuitive. An input command gets input, a print command prints some output and a while command loops while something is true. Assembly code uses code called mnemonics, which means instructions sound like their English equivalent. Let's look at some example assembly code. This means move data between two registers. Some other commands include LOD is load, STO is store, ADD is ADD. Ultimately, all program code ends up as binary code that is specific to the chip of the computer that it is running on. This binary code is called machine code. Using a high level programming language as opposed to a low level language has a number of advantages and disadvantages. The advantages are that it's easy to learn, you can write functioning programs very quickly, the program code is easy to read, it's easy to find and solve problems and maintain the program, and your code can run on any platform. However, the disadvantages are that, because they are either compiled or interpreted, they are slower to execute, they can take up a lot of memory, and you are not allowed to use parts of the computer's RAM or hard drive. Some high-level programming languages have been designed with specific purposes in mind. For example, VB.NET and c -sharp are commonly used for building Windows form-based applications. f -sharp and Haskell are used for large dataset processing. PHP is used for adding dynamic content to web pages. JavaScript is used for adding interactive functionality to web pages. HTML and CSS are used for structuring and formatting web pages. SQL is used for querying databases. And XML is used for moving data between different systems. The advantages of low level programming languages like assembly code are programs are very fast to execute, it gives you complete control over all parts of the computer system, and it's more efficient and uses less memory. However, the disadvantages are it is very difficult to learn, it takes time to get programs functioning. The program code is difficult to read, it's not easy to find and solve problems and maintain the program, you could end up overwriting important areas of memory by accident, and your code is machine dependent. Assembly code is usually used on embedded systems where the instructions are loaded onto a machine and never changed, for example, a washing machine or a car engine management unit. Ultimately, all programs need to end up as machine code, the binary instructions specific for the hardware of a computer. Translator software are types of system software designed to take your program code and convert it into machine code. With high level programming languages, there are two types of translators we commonly use, compilers and interpreters. Compilers will take code written in a high level language like C or C++ and convert the whole lot into machine code. This is called the compiler step and can take a long time as the whole program is compiled. This will also identify any errors in the code, preventing it from compiling. We often refer to the high level program code as the source code. The code produced by the compiler is called the object code and this is specific for each platform so you'll need to compile it for each platform you are using. For example, you will need three different sets of source code and three different compilers for three different platforms for the same program. Note that you do not need to have the compiler software installed on your computer running the software. 
Interpreted languages include JavaScript, C Sharp, VB.NET, Java, PHP, and Python. An interpreted language is translated line by line into machine code as the program is run. This means that the machine running the program must have the interpreter for the language installed on the computer. Due to the fact that the program is being translated as it is run, this means that the program is usually slower to run. However, this does also mean that the program can be translated for whatever machine it is running on as long as they have the interpreter installed, making it much more platform independent than compiled languages. With most interpreted languages, like C Sharp, VB.NET, Java and Python, the source code is actually compiled into an intermediate stage called bytecode, which is then interpreted. The bytecode is quicker to interpret than the source code, but still maintains the platform independence of an interpreted language. It's not just high-level languages that need translating though. We also need to translate assembly language. This is done via an assembler. Assemblers will take the low-level code written in assembly language and convert it into machine code. Typically, an assembler will compile into machine code directly, much like a compiler. There is a one-to-one -one relationship between assembly language and machine code. This means that one instruction in assembly language will be translated into one instruction in machine code. This can be done because assembly code is written specifically for the instruction set of the processor you are developing for. This means, unlike a compiler or interpreter, an assembler wouldn't be able to convert the code into machine code for all the different platforms out there. So, programming languages can be classified as either high level or low level. The definition is determined by how many English keywords are in the language. Assembly code has mnemonic keywords and is translated using an assembler. Machine code is binary. High-level languages have roles specific to the language. Assembly language is commonly used for embedded systems. Compilers turn complete source code into object code for a specific platform. Interpreters translate code line by line as the program is run. Interpreters commonly produce bytecode that is then interpreted into machine code. Assemblers will take the low-level code written in assembly language and convert it into machine code. There is a one-to-one -one relationship between assembly language and machine code. 